when the school first came to you years ago and said, why don't you do an electrical car program, what was your reaction? I don't want to get involved with that. Those are stupid little slow cars that are, you know, ladies driving around with a flower in them kind of thing. <laughs> Yeah, I said, oh, okay, I'll give it a try. You know, show me some different vehicles and we'll see what they look like. And how did you know how to start? There weren't well, any textbooks for this, right? No, there really, you know, there's been a few things developed, but um, it's been individuals around the country really doing a lot of research and things. So the school sent me off to another school that was really involved in this in the Carolinas. And then some real good instructors up there let me just dig through their cars and take a million pictures and things. And yeah, this is pretty cool. So we came back and started building our own vehicle. Is it hard to do to build an electric car? I say no, but you know, I guess really from a layman's standpoint, there's a lot of different engineering things and stuff you got to get th you know get used to doing. Um, the different technical aspects and a lot of the stuff that we do is trial and error, so it might not work, we might have to redo it, might, you know, so there's just a lot of hours involved and uh, it's a big learning curve you go through. Um, we're involved in a lot of competitions with the vehicles and it was probably the first couple, three years before we could do anything, you know, everybody was just better than we were and so, you know, eventually it starts to click and things get together and, you know, we've had some pretty good success. How did you get students that like big, loud cars with hot engines interested in electric cars? I, I really still haven't gotten totally the picture of how that has happened. Um, you know, we do compete with these, and that's a big hook. Right. You know, they can put it up against another car, and then we actually show that this electric car at times can beat a gasoline car. So these kids think, hmm, this is kind of cool. We, let's do something there. It's a little bit different. Um, then when you know they find out the car that we build is actually faster than their friend's car, well, that's even better. So you know it just kind of snowballs and keeps running down the line. Did you think you could do that when you started out? Well, when I first started, obviously no. You think as electric cars, they call them lead sleds, all kind of different things that are you know pretty slow because of all the weight of batteries and things. But the technology has gotten to the place where if you can harness all the power, things will go. There's some really fast cars out there running on all electric power. And will we ever see as consumers cars that can go fast and far that are electric? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you have the Tesla Roadster right now that's going to be in production shortly. People all over the country are buying them, and, and uh, they're extremely fast. We're talking something like four seconds or things like that that uh, you know can drive at 150 miles a day and drive real fast speeds. And uh, um, so as long as battery technology starts to increase and prices get a little cheaper, you're going to see more and more and more.